Good morning. We are Paul and Janet Hagen. We found St. Paul's Cathedral about five years ago. As we entered the courtyard on our first Sunday visit, we were surprised to see our friend and former neighbor, Pat Crater. She introduced us to everyone in sight, and we have felt like part of this family ever since. This morning, we would like to share a few of our experiences regarding stewardship. Giving for me has become a practice and a faith response. I've been a regular attender at church services for over 70 years. Giving did not come naturally for me, but I started to learn about giving growing up in a financially disadvantaged family, watching my parents put some money in the plate each Sunday. It took hearing sermons and reading Bible verses about giving and then praying about what giving meant to me. I once read the following. If giving is merely to a church, a ministry, or some needy person, it is only charity. But if giving is to the Lord, it becomes an act of worship. I remind myself that when I give, (coughs) I'm giving my gift to the Lord. From the time I was a child, giving part of my allowance, to the time of adulthood with a family of my own, I have given to the church community I have been part of. The explanation we gave our daughters was that we give back to God a small portion of the blessings God gives us. Of course, that is very simplistic. If I really dig deeper for the reason, I find that rather than giving out of responsibility or good habit, It has more to do with my level of awareness, expanding into gratitude for the abundance God has given me, starting with my very life. Over the years, God has humbled me by teaching me what is important through my successes and failures. The Holy Spirit has shown me that the real reward is not monetary, but inside my very soul and it is amplified in community. God has steadily and progressively opened my heart and entered in, growing me to the point where giving of my abundance, but really out of God's abundance, flows naturally out of that heartfelt love and appreciation. 2 Corinthians 9, 7 says, Let each one do just as he has purposed in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. In my personal life, I understand that funds coming in each year determine how much I can spend. Since I am part of St. Paul's community and receive so many benefits from this community, it is important to me that I am a cheerful giver and that I let St. Paul's know that I will pledge so they can prepare their budget accordingly. When I sign the pledge card, I am saying, you can count on me to help support this community. And this becomes an act of worship for me. As the years have gone by, Paul and I have become progressively more aware of God's provision. God has not given us extreme wealth, but he has given us the ability and the desire to work and to gain education. And he has helped us through setbacks. He has given us the gift of gratitude and the joy that comes from giving what we can from our heart to our church or to individuals or charities. James 1.17 tells us that every good and perfect gift is from above, coming to us from the Father, and also that he is constant. We pray for the gift, the grace to be constant as well. Please consider joining Paul and I in pledging your support to the life-giving ministries at St. Paul's Cathedral. You can use the pledge card distributed by mail or go to St. Paul Cathedral dot org slash my dash pledge. Thank Thank you. you.